so hi hello everyone welcome to the channel so in this video i'm going to show you how to create a constant random and normal raster in rgis so now let's get started so in this video i'm going to uh, just give you a really quick video on how to create some rasters so i'm not uh, going to go through a big workflow with them but uh, i want to show you uh, the tools uh, in the raster creation tools uh, under spatial analyst so now let me navigate to this option here arc toolbox so in that we're gonna navigate to this tool called spatial analysis tool in that we're gonna click this uh, option called uh, raster creation so in that we can uh, able to create uh, three different uh, rasters so that is the first tool is create a constant raster the second is create a normal raster and the third one is create a random raster and uh, each of this uh, can be useful when per when you're performing a raster analysis because uh, sometimes uh, maybe you just uh, need a base raster to start with for, uh, with for uh, a raster calculation for a raster calculator uh, operations so maybe uh, you need a raster that's uh, constants uh, zero then uh, you begin to run uh, operation against it and the raster calculator with some other rasters uh, you have in order to come up with uh, a final result or sometimes uh, need some random pixels in order to use for uh, statistical testing or uh, randomly changing the data you have uh, by some amount so now let's take a look at uh, each of this uh, the raster creation tools so now let me click this first raster that is uh, first tool called create constant raster so now this is our create uh, constant raster tool so it creates a raster of a constant value within the extent and the cell size of the analysis window so first uh, let me select my uh, output raster file location so now uh, let me save so i have entered as create constant raster dot tiff so now let me enter the constant value here so the constant value with uh, with which to populate all the cells in the output raster so now let me enter the constant value of 10 so once you did that we're going to navigate to this option here that is output data type so we're going to select uh, integer and next the output cell size uh, we're going to select as uh, enter as 10 and then the next the extend uh, that it should follow so uh, if I had another layer loaded in here, I could make it to follow the same extent. I could also, uh, if I had uh, maybe a 10 meter dam, I could uh, make it uh, snap to that. So uh, if I was uh, going to use one of the, one of these in order to uh, do some operations against another raster layer. So I want to uh, go to the environmental environment setting here. So let me uh, navigate to this option here, environments. So here you have to navigate to this option here in processing extent. Suppose if you have your extend file, for example, a dem or another layer, you can just select the, your extend file here in this processing extend section here. And similarly, uh, you can also select the in the snap raster for your extend file here. You can select the extent of your raster. And similarly, you can navigate to the raster analysis section. In this, uh, make sure that you select your extend file here. In the cell size option, you can select the name of your extend file here so let me close this so for now uh, we are not going to use extend file we are going to uh, use the default so i'm going to give uh, a 2500 by 2500 meter grid here let me enter here so here you can able to observe in the top and right we have uh, given to 2500 uh, by 2500 meter uh, grid here and now i'm going to click uh, ok so uh, 250 uh, 250 uh, pixels in each direction so now uh, it's running so now we have our uh, constant raster here so now we have created a constant raster with uh, with a constant value of 10 so now uh, i can verify uh, that value uh, i can verify the value or uh, 10 with the identity tool here so let me navigate to this option here identity tool so this is our identity tool so now I have selected our identity tool here. Let me click here. So now here you can be able to visualize the pixel value is 10 here. And similarly, let me click here. So here also the uh, pixel value is 10. And similarly, so the pixel value is 10. So now let me close this. So now we have created a, a constant raster with a constant value of 10. So I can also create a random raster so for that we're going to navigate to our toolbox here so i'm going to cl click this tool called create a random raster let me click this 
So this is our uh, create random raster tool. So it creates a, ra a raster of random floating point value between uh, 0 to 0 and uh, 1.0 with an extent and cell size of the analysis window. So now let me select my output for file location here. So here you can able to visualize I've uh, entered as create a random raster dot if I'm gonna click save. So now I'm gonna set my output cell uh, cell size value to uh, 10 similar to our constant raster. So here this is our seed value. So now let me uh, leave the default uh, seed value here. So uh, a value to be used to uh, reseed the random number generator. So uh, I will let it to use its own uh, seed value which is something that it initiates the random uh, number uh, generator it uses. And now the output extend file, I'm gonna set the output extended file, extend file same as the, the create raster, constant raster. And now we're gonna navigate to our environments uh, here. In that, in the processing setting, uh, we're gonna set our snap raster to be the create constant raster. And similarly, in the raster analysis, the cell size, we're gonna set, uh, it's gonna be our, the create constant rasters cell size and we're gonna click OK and we're gonna click OK so now we have our result uh, we have created our uh, random raster here so now I uh, got this thing uh, that looks uh, kind of noise because uh, it is a random number uh, between 0 and 1 and uh, if I really need a random numbers uh, in some other uh, range I could uh, then going to I'm going to a raster calculator uh, let me click this and uh, if I really need a random numbers uh, in some other range uh, I could uh, then uh, going to a raster calculator hence the raster values are between 0 and 1 maybe uh, I need uh, values between a negative uh, 5 and uh, 5 so I want a uh, kind of randomly moved uh, values uh, between subtracting 5 and adding a 5 so now uh, we're going to navigate to our raster calculator here. So uh, we're going to navigate the spatial analysis tool. In that, we're going to select raster calculator here. So what I can uh, can I do is uh, with the uh, random raster here. So let me cl uh, click this raster here. So I'm going to uh, multiply it by 10 since uh, I downscale it from uh, 0 to 10 now and uh, then subtract by 5. So now let me um, uh, multiply by 10 here. And let me add a brackets here and we're gonna subtract it by 5 so that uh, all the values between uh, minus 5 and plus 5 so now let me save uh, to my folder location here so now here I have entered as rescaled uh, random raster dot if I'm gonna click save and now let me click OK So now we have our uh, rescale random raster between uh, plus 5 to uh, between minus 5 to plus 5. So now uh, between the two different la layers that is between the create random raster and uh, rescale random raster. So uh, it doesn't look any different to us here because uh, when, I, when it applies the color ramp uh, it's still going to be the same stretch. But uh, I now have a values hovering uh, that range between the the values is between minus 5 to plus 5 I can also use this one of these rasters aesthetically if I need to find those the pixels uh, as I was talking about it before so now let me navigate to this option here right click I'm gonna right click on this layer and we can navigate to this option called properties so in that we're gonna navigate to this option here display so here I'm going to apply the transparency to be around 70% uh, and we're going to click OK. And now uh, we're going to look zoom into this uh, raster here. So now looking at that uh, at it, uh, I get uh, these sort of cell boundaries uh, where uh, I could see uh, where the boundaries that uh, underlying raster are based on these raster data set that I can uh, easily see the boundaries in. So now the next tool we're going to take a look at this. Uh, it is our create a normal raster. Let me click this. So it creates a raster of random values uh, with a normal uh, distribution within the extent and the cell size of the analysis window. So uh, this is great for statistical purposes. Uh, you could see that uh, in the input and the outputs are going to be pretty similar. So, uh, so now we're going to select a folder location here. 
So now here I entered as create a normal raster dot tiff. We're gonna click save, and I'm gonna enter this output cell size value to be around 10, similar to the other rasters. And let me select my output extend file, same as the create constant raster. And in the environments, we're gonna select uh, the processing extend to be snap create constant raster. And similarly, the insta raster analysis, the mask be based on create constant raster and we can click ok and now let me click ok so now uh, we have our uh, create normal raster here so you can take a look at this so i want to keep this uh, video short uh, because these aren't some huge special tools but but uh, there is uh, one i think uh, you should know about uh, if you uh, do much raster analysis so in this video I have showed you a create constant raster and create random raster and uh, create a normal raster that uh, you can uh, use to create a, a raster with a specific uh, geographic area at a specific cell size and uh, with the specific values uh, whether a constant or a random in RGIS. So thanks for watching and uh, please subscribe to our channel and give us a like.